Hey how's it going everyone, I'm DCSG81 and welcome to another special video. Basically this video is in response to my previous shot which I made about whether Ami Ami is a safe place for you to buy your stuff. And I've seen some comments from you guys about how bad it is for their after service from Ami Ami. Let's take a look at the first comment which is from Daniel Craig. Wait a minute. So from here, he shared that he had bought an Arcadia YF-19 arrived broken many years ago and they tried to give him a $7 store credit for $250 items and Ami Ami refused to attempt a replacement and finally gave him the money back but they actually banned him as well. Okay, so my thoughts about this is I believe Ami Ami couldn't have gotten a replacement for him so instead they give him a seven dollar uh, credit which is kind of low I, I agree with that but upon having to refund back the money to him uh, they actually have to ban him which is kind of harsh and the second comments we have is from this person called Nanetsuyo 3864 he stated that yeah safe until something goes wrong with your order whether it's damage or loss or anything else they will not take any responsibility and ban you if you win a change back okay so I do see a similarity with the first case whereby if they have lost means that they have to refund you fully they will actually have to ban you wow this is quite bad and allow me to share my experience but before i begin i would like to say that i'm not affiliated to ami ami in any way they are not paying me to make this video and i'm also not getting any mayfax in return <laughs> so with that out of the way i would just like to share my experience which is uh, kind of recent, I think it's around September last year, whereby I have bought this uh, cell first from, from SH Figures from them, and upon opening up the box, the legs is actually broken right out of the box. So naturally, I have contacted the Ami Ami support regarding this, and at the same time, I have taken photograph of the broken parts, as well as the figure with the original SH Figuas box and most importantly is you will have to take with the brown box that Ami Ami comes with of course this is not the Ami Ami box because I have thrown all their boxes and I have not been ordering from them for the past few months why? I will reveal the reason to you later I have reported the case to them on September 11 and by September 13 they have accepted my case but they will have to check with their warehouse whether they have any extra left and by 14th of September they have confirmed that they do have an extra replacement for me but I will have to send back these broken figures together with the box everything intact back to them before they can send me the new box as a replacement and at the same time they also mentioned that I will have to pay for the shipping cost first and they will refund it back to my PayPal so after that, I package everything well and I ship it back to them with some photograph as a evidence. And by 22nd of September, Ami Ami have also confirmed that they have received it and they are doing some checking and they will actually send it back on 24th of September. So you can see the whole incident actually take place less than two weeks. And eventually, I can't remember when did I receive the figures back. I think it's in early October so it's less than a month that I gotten a new figure so, but not bad. so yes this is my one and only uh, good experience with them because this is the one and only times that uh, the figure actually arrived broken so back to the reason why I have not been ordering from them for the past few months uh, yes I think you might have guessed it right I have been banned from Ami Ami I do not want to get into the details, maybe I'll keep that for another video. I, I'm still doing a very good view as in promoting their shop because I've been to their shop physically in Tokyo, Japan, Akihabara and I'm really amazed at all the professionalism and all the stuff they have. So as you can see, even though I'm banned, uh, I, I have no hatred for them because they are really being a very good service and they are still legit for you to actually shop in. So once again, I made this video it's just to let you guys know what you should do when you have a broken things. Of course, you have to report to the Ami Ami support and support yourself with more evidence like photographs of the broken items. You know, give them all the information you have, the order numbers and the most important thing of all, 
is to keep the brown box from Ami Ami just as a proof that you actually gotten it from them and the next piece of advice is I would say is that once you have gotten anything from them be very fast to inspect like you know open it up and check the conditions of the figure because if you wait for a year or two later and <laughs> it's really broken right out of the box and you you make a complaint to them even though they might accept your your complaints but they will no longer have the ready stock to replace for you so it could be the same case as the first comments that they say that uh, they refuse a replacement maybe because it's they don't even have a replacement for you in the first place so all they can do is offer some credit or they can refund you back but i'm not sure why they have to ban you so maybe this is just their company policy i'm not so sure because logically thinking if they do have a ready stock in their warehouse I don't see any reason why they do not want to replace it for you. Okay, so I hope that you have some insight on how Ami Ami after sales service works after you uh, watch this video. And I do hope that this will actually helps you to regain some confidence in Ami Ami. And I'll catch you again in my next video. Yes, I do hope that you'll check out some of this video right over here.